Okay, so we're in Autodesk Inventor and we're gonna go ahead and do a new IPT, okay, new part file. Okay, now in the last one, we just uh, we just did some basic 2D drawing. Okay, that's always how we start. So if we open a new IPT file, we're gonna go start 2D sketch. Okay, we click start 2D sketch right here. We're gonna choose a plane. Okay, click on the plane. And there we're in our sketch mode. We know we're in sketch mode because sketch one is highlighted on the left here. Finish sketch is here. We have a crosshairs with our origin point in here. Okay, what I'd like to talk about right now is uh, this zooming issue, okay, and dimensioning also at the same time, all right? So the problem with Inventor, one of the, one of the things that people get confused on when they start is that uh, you don't know how big things are. So it could be as big as a football field or it could be as small as your watch, right? We don't know how big a circle is, right? So, um, so what we can do is we can dimension these things, all right? Uh, so let's take an example of a line, okay? So I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to purposely make a mistake here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and draw this line. See this? So I'm going to draw the line, and then I'm going to right-click and click OK. So I have two lines here, all right? Now, the dimensional line is fairly simple, okay? We click the dimensioning tool. We click, pull out, click again to place, and then we're going to go ahead and say how big it is. So let's say we want to make it six inches, okay? All right, boom, it disappears. Okay, so notice that we dimensioned it. Now our line is here, but it's pretty hard to see. Okay, so what we're gonna do in that case is there, we're gonna use these zoom tools, okay? Now, uh, Inventor's almost impossible to operate without a mouse. So if you're on a, if you're on a laptop, uh, you really should plug a mouse in. In the case, the wheel on your mouse is actually gonna zoom in and out. Okay, that's what I'm doing here. So I'm wheeling in and out. I can also go over here to this control and I can go drop down and click zoom all. Okay, and then basically once it's set to zoom all, I can just click and I zoom everything in that I've drawn will be like kind of full screen. So let's go ahead and dimension again. So we're gonna dimension this upright. We're gonna make it two inches. Now inches the default uh, is the default for this drawing. So if I just put two and check it, it's gonna be two inches. All right, it's gonna automatically set to two inches. Okay. We can always use, use the hand to just move the scene around. Notice I'm not moving my drawing or the stuff in the drawing. I'm moving the, the view of the drawing, okay? Zooming, I can also do uh, just zoom, okay, which means I can left-click and pull in and out. I can also do zoom window and zoom selected, okay? I'm just, zoom all is usually the most useful. Okay, dimensioning, you can dimension the lengths of things. You can also dimension the, the, um, the, uh, uh, angles between them. So if I click one line and then I click the other and then pull it out, notice how it goes to 90 degrees, okay? But see how I get this error? Adding this dimension will over constrain the sketch. Okay, I have to click accept. So now basically do you see this on the dimension? You see like the uh, the parentheses around it? That means it's a driven dimension and, and we can't really change it. So the question is, what happened? Okay, so what happened was, as I was drawing, let's say I go back in the line tool, I click the line tool, I see my green dot there on the end of the line, I click, I pull up. Notice that when I do this, do you see that little uh, little gray box right there with the two little red line down below? There it is. Now it's gone. There it's back. If I click right now, what happens is, is, is that the um, inventor will automatically make this line to be vertical or to be perpendicular from the other line or something. Okay, it'll apply. It'll it'll assume that you want this constraint applied and it will apply it. Okay, so what you have to do is you're drawing. If you know that a line is not going to be 90 degrees, make it a little less than 90 degrees when you do it. Now, now we don't know. Oops, just one second. Okay, now we don't know what we what what angle we want. So I'm going to right click and release on OK to get out of the line tool. But we don't know what we want this angle to be, but we know that we don't want it constrained to be 90 degrees. So the, now I can go ahead and dimension, click on the dimensioning tool, click, click, and then pull out and click. All right. And then let's say we want it to be 45 degrees. Enter, we get 45 degrees. Another thing that people do is they wonder how we're going to edit these, okay? So if I click on it, um, it will go ahead and we can edit it while we're still in the dimensioning tool. What I can't do is move it. Do you see how, like, I can't click? I can't, so I'm left-clicking 
and trying to drag it and I can't, okay? So in order to do that, I have to get out of the dimensioning tool. Now I can go up and click the dimensioning button or I can right click and click okay. And notice that now the dimensioning tool is not, is no longer highlighted. And now if I click and drag this, I can actually move the number, okay? So a lot of times you'll get a lot of dimensions inside your drawing. The dimensions will be, the actual numbers will be in kind of weird spots. And so you have to be out of the dimensioning tool in order to move them around. You can still edit them just by double clicking, um, but you can't move them around until you're outside of the tool. Okay, so that's basic uh, dimensioning there and basic zooming. Um, these, same, these same things work on all of the shapes. So basically if I say, say I have the, um, say I have a circle, okay, I click, drag, click, and I go up and I dimension, click, dimension, pull out, and click so that was click move the mouse without holding anything down and then click again to place notice that i'm dimensioning the um the uh diameter here okay so that is basic dimensioning and basic zooming good luck